Hi guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. So this is one that I've been really looking forward to. I finally got my hands on a Paralens dive camera. Uh, so this is a new action style camera. It started off as a Kickstarter, but, um, but they've made it fully into production. And uh, this is basically an action sports camera specifically made for scuba divers by scuba divers. So instead of just being a, an action camera that can go underwater, um, and usually your pictures come out called blue or green, depending on where you're diving. Um, this one actually has a built-in depth sensor, uh, which is, of course, is unique to scuba diving. And that depth sensor, one, it can be put as an overlay over your images, your videos and your pictures. Uh, so you can better sort of, um, sort of recreate your dive, go back over the footage and see where you were. Um, but it also adjusts the white balance. So as you go down, instead of getting bluer and bluer, it automatically corrects itself and, uh, and makes your sort of videos and your photos much more realistic. Uh, so I've got it here, we've got the box. We're just gonna take a closer look at the box itself. Uh, fairly compact. Um, on the front, we've got the picture of the camera itself. You can see that it's got Bluetooth and Wi-Fi built in. Uh, so that's for downloading your, uh, your dive and connecting it to your, um, your laptop, your phone, uh, any kind of smart device with uh, sort of Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Um, just means it is wireless, so you don't have to uh, keep sort of unscrewing the back and, uh, and plugging in that USB cable. Also on the front, it says the uh, the first action camera dedicated to diving. As I just said, yeah, it's uh, it's going to log your dives and uh, and adjust itself. So it's specifically made for scuba divers. Uh, you can see it's got an, a dedicated app that's both on the Apple App Store and uh, and Google Play. I've downloaded that on my phone. Uh, I haven't had a chance to uh, to play with it yet, um, but uh, for what I've seen, it is quite user user friendly. Uh, so also looking around the box, so on the top. Uh, depth controlled color correction. So that's what I was saying, as the uh, the camera goes down under the water, the deeper down it goes, it automatically adjusts the white balance. You can do that manually, but it does have a, uh, an automatic mode. This will shoot in 4K, so ultra HD, but you can adjust the um, uh, the resolution and the uh, the frames per second as well. Uh, fits most dive masks. We'll get to that a little bit later. You get lots of different mounts. Uh, you can mount this camera wherever you want. <coughs> uh, dive log data and video overlay. So it's logging your dive, a bit like your dive computer, except it's not telling you when to come up. Um, but it will log exactly how deep you were and uh, sort of where you were at what time. Uh, over two hours battery life. Uh, so that's if you're filming at 4K. If you dial it down to about 1080p, I think you can get up to about three hours of battery life. Uh, T-rail click mount, I'll show you that. That's the, uh, the different mounting system around the dive camera. So you can attach it to all the different accessories. Waterproof to 200 meters. So that's much further than I can go, uh, but 200 meters, uh, you don't have to worry about it uh, ever sort of flooding. If you go down to 35 meters, it's not the end of the world. You can take this down to 200. Vibration feedback, it's got a little motor on the inside. You can feel that vibration when you're going through the, uh, the menus. Electronic image stabilization. So, um, so inside it's going to stabilize your video uh, and your images so it's not gonna be quite so shaky. Um, that's all sort of behind the, uh, the 140 degree lens. So it's a real wide angle lenses. It's recording a lot left, right, up and down, but it actually has a, uh, a correction built into that so you don't get that sort of fisheye lens. Um, designed to use with glove, big chunky um, buttons. I'll show you how the, uh, the buttons and the, uh, the connector ring works. Uh, shock proof, don't drop it, but if you do, it's not the end of the world. Um, no extra casing. It in itself is waterproof down to 200 meters. All you have to do is make sure that the back is screwed on properly um, and you don't need any extra housing. You don't have to worry about um, yeah, extra housing. Uh, on the sides, nothing on the sides. On the back, what's in the box? Your Paralens dive camera, of course, that's gonna be in the box. A mask mount, a universal mount, which is a bit like a GoPro style mount. Uh, wrist strap, a USB-C cable, two O-rings, I presume two spare O-rings, uh, protection pouch, and some silicone grease. And you've got some information about the um, camera, what the bits and bobs are, and, uh, and you can see the, uh, the app on, uh, on your phone. So opening it up, taking it out of the box. <clears throat> so it comes in its own protective little case. We're gonna take a look at that in a second because uh, there's more inside the box itself. So inside the box, you can see we have a couple mounts. Uh, so this is your GoPro style mount. 
Um, this will clip onto the camera, I'll show you how that works. And then you have that um, sort of stereotypical GoPro style mount. So you can attach it onto lots of different things. And the thing that you can attach a GoPro onto, uh, you can mount this camera onto. We also have a mask mount, if I take that out. So uh, it's going to fit most masks, just thread the, uh, the mask strap and, uh, and then you get that little mount. That's just going to sit on the top of your head. Um, it's a little bit padded, it's kind of um, shaped to go around your head, um, so keep it nice and comfortable. That will give you that POV shot um, sort of as you're diving. Just try and make sure that the bubbles try and go in the other direction, otherwise you just get a video full of bubbles. Uh, also in the box, we have a quick start guide, I imagine, a pre-dive checklist. Uh, so going over your dive camera, making sure that everything's working, um, just telling you to clean the lens, make sure the battery's charged, uh, download your SD card, keep it nice and full, and uh, sort of where to mount it. Uh, quick start guide, yep, how to use the camera, um, all the different modes from recording video to taking pictures, even just turning it on. You also have a custom mode, so you can set it whether it's time lapse or, um, or all sorts, you can, uh, you can have your own dedicated mode. Uh, and then a user manual in English, um, lots of pictures, very easy to, uh, to read and um, very quick and simple to get used to. Okay, so let's look at the dive camera itself. Oh, you also get some stickers in the box, um, lots of stickers uh, from Paralins. Uh, so you can sticker up your car or your dive tank and let them know that uh, you're using the Paralens camera. So, camera itself, inside the box. Decent box, nice uh, sort of rubbery finish to it. Um, that's going to be splash proof except for the zip. <laughs> Opening it up. And then inside you have your camera, nice and compact, nice and long. Um, we'll take a closer look at that in a moment. You've got a USB download charging cable, so that's a USB-C. Uh, you've got a wrist strap, so uh, attach that onto your torch if you're using it as a handheld, um, oh, sorry, your camera. If you're using it as a handheld camera, make sure you don't lose it. Uh, you've got a bit of silicone grease, grease up those O-rings, um, not too much, just a little bit, um, just to make sure you get an effective seal. Too much will attract dust um, and, uh, and break that seal, so only a little bit. <clears throat> you also get some spare O-rings, nice and blue, uh, three of those. Um, very easy to see, but of course, spares are always useful. And then the camera itself. Uh, so put in the box to one side. So the camera itself, nice and compact, fits in your hand really easily. Uh, you've got the lens at the front, so this is a 140 degree angle, so it's uh, recording really wide angle. But behind that, the software is, um, is stitching that together and making it look much more natural so you don't get that uh, sort of distortion around in the corners. Uh, up at the top, or at this side, you've got this blue ring. So this is the mode selector ring. Uh, it's kind of gnarled uh, on each little corner. Uh, very easy to turn. Even if you've got big chunky gloves, you'll be able to turn that. So, uh, so what do we have? We've got the on-off mode. Uh, we've got video, photo, your custom mode, and then settings and uh, one blank, a lock, another blank, and then back to on. Other user interface, you've got the, um, uh, the kind of shutter button. Uh, so this looks a bit like a trigger, so you should push it, but you actually slide it back. Uh, so sliding it is how you're gonna activate and move your way around the torch. Uh, sorry, it looks like a torch, it's a camera. Um, on the back, you have a little screen uh, that's just underneath the USB charging and where you put your micro SD card. It doesn't come with a micro SD card, um, but um, as long as you get a decent enough one, um, the standard size the micro SD will fit. So this back actually unscrews. So if I unscrew that, just put that to one side. So we've got three blue O-rings, uh, so keep those lightly greased, make sure they're um, nice and neat, so they're not sort of folding over one another. Bit of a screw thread, just keep that clean. And then, um, and then again, yeah, you've got your USB charging port, SD port, and, uh, and that, uh, uh, that little screen. So if I turn it on, pushing the, uh, the little slider for about four seconds should turn it on. There you go. It vibrates, uh, you see the little Paralens logo, and then when it's just in the normal setting, it's gonna tell you its vital statistics. One, it's got no SD card. Um, 
Okay, so it tells you your battery life, uh, what's on your SD card, whether Wi-Fi is on and off, and whether your um, dynamic color control is, uh, is on or off. Uh, so cycling through, okay, I wanna take a, a video. Tells you what mode you're filming in and how much battery life you have left. The camera modes, so this is quite clever. If you just flick the switch, it'll take a photo. But if you hold it down, it will start recording video. So uh, if something exciting happens and a picture just won't do, you can just hold it down. And as long as you're holding down that, um, that shutter button, it will be recording video. And then custom mode, you can pick and choose. So this is on, uh, on video. Uh, 4K, 30 frames per second, you can, um, you can sort of customize that, change it. So if you want a, uh, a time-lapse video, as I said, you can sort of pick and choose what mode that, uh, that star is. And then on to settings. So settings, Wi-Fi. As you move through, you just use this little selector. Uh, if you just push it quickly, it's gonna cycle through. And if you hold it down, it selects it. Uh, so set white balance, so you can either do it manually, so you can do this in the water, set the white balance, if you bring down a white slate, uh, just set the white balance, uh, but I want to uh, set the, uh, the DCC, so hold it down, every time it does something it vibrates a little, so you know that something's happening, whether you're diving in blue water, or green water is automatically going to uh, color correct it, uh, or you can um, go back, so I'm going to set it to blue water, just hold it down, Blue water is set, and then you can go back. So quick and easy, considering it's only got one button, uh, it's, it's very easy to, uh, to navigate your way around. Uh, what else do we have? Video, so that will be um, the different frame rates and the different resolution. Photo, how many megapixels I imagine. Custom mode, if I go into that. Custom mode, video. Okay, so we're gonna go into video, activate, settings, and then back. Uh, what else do we have? Slow motion. Uh, so this will go up to 200 frames per second if you want to uh, sort of really record something uh, that's happening really quickly and then slow it down. You've got up to uh, 200 frames per second. Uh, time lapse, if you want to um, sort of sit it down and record it over time, uh, you've got that time lapse mode. And then burst mode, again, if something's happening really quickly, you want to take lots of pictures in quick succession, uh, you can set that little start of burst mode. And then back. So it's quick and easy to, uh, to navigate around. Uh, if I put that back on, I'll show you the, uh, the team mounting system. So you've got a big chunky thread on that. So you don't have to worry too much about um, cross-threading it, but do be careful and double check those O-rings are nice and straight. So um, all the way around the body, you can see all these little T's um, and these are the different mounting points. So this is one of the mounting options. This is your GoPro style mount. And all you really do is you just push until it clicks and that's it mounted. So you can move it forwards and backwards. There's a kind of rubbery um, sort of section down the, uh, down the middle. That stops it from sliding around, but you can push it past that if you want to adjust it. But that won't come off. Um, the only way it can come off is if you, um, is if you lift both of those little tabs. Um, you can mount it anywhere around, uh, so wherever you want it mounted, if you want it on the side of your head, or if you want it on the top of a helmet, uh, you can mount it wherever you want. If you want it at a jaunty angle, you can have it at that 45 degree angle. Um, very clever, very robust. It's got a good feel to it. It feels very solid. Um, nothing's kind of rattly or moving. Uh, you've got that ring as well, which has got a uh, sort of definitive sort of, yes, now you're in dive mode, and it vibrates as well. Um, it's probably the first dive camera that I've um, had my hands on that vibrates. Um, especially if it's mounted to your mask, you don't really know what's going on. So you want that kind of feedback if you're switching it on and off, whether it's actually doing something or whether the battery's run out. Um, yeah, good little dive camera, nice and tough. Waterproof down to, um, to 200 meters. And that, uh, that DCC, that color correction, is a real selling point in my mind. Um, yeah, a good little camera from Paramount.